Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to TNT Living. So uh, I know it's been a while since I posted. Gotten some questions where you've been. I appreciate the followers who are uh, uh, asking for more videos. Things just got kind of busy at home uh, with kids and sports. So, but I want to make a better effort to get back to it this year. So today we're going to start by doing a um, king crab seafood boil. So I got these six pieces of king crab at Costco. I'll show you everything. <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna do some corn on the cobs. I got some uh, potatoes, gonna boil those. Onion, minced garlic to get the uh, boil started. Of course, you gotta have the zatarans. Lemon, I got a few lemons. And the uh, chicken flavoring bouillon and the Creole. This is um, <clears throat> original Creole, just gives it a nice Louisiana kind of Cajun flavor. Um, over here I'm getting the pot ready and then over here I got some boiled eggs. We did that in this uh, Instapot. Cooks them in five minutes so there's about a dozen eggs in there. Um, <clears throat> and we're doing shrimp and um, I didn't get any sausage this time or any lobster, um, but uh, my wife's deveining the shrimp here. Let me see. Oh, here we go. You guys get to see that. Look at that. These are larger shrimp. So, I don't know if you guys have done, done any uh, seafood boils recently. Um, we were at Costco and uh, I was talking to, yeah, they usually have. Um, I know a lot of mukbangers, mukbangers go and get the seafood, the crab legs at Costco, but I was talking today, I went in and they didn't have the seafood, so I guess the guy was saying there's a shortage going around on seafood, and they're going to have another uh, seafood road show, which is, they just kind of have all the seafood laid out um, near the um, meat area, deli area, and uh, kind of everything right there on ice, crab, king crab. Um, snow crab, lobster, so he just said there's some kind of shortage, so I don't know. Have you guys heard anything about that? Uh, let me know. So I'm going to get started here. Um, I'll be right back with you. I'm going to get this water boiling, get all this seasoning mixed, and uh, we'll, we'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, so I'm getting ready to, to get the uh, boil started. So just get a large onion, and this is just to get the, the flavoring kind of peel off the excess skin there. Drop it in there. You guys may do uh, seafood boiling different. If you do, let me know. I think this is only the second seafood, or second or third seafood boil I've done. So, it's getting better every time. So there's the onions in there. Um, <clears throat> you can get whole garlics. You can get whole garlic um, and, and, and chop it up. But we found this right here at the local grocery store, minced garlic. Um, it's a lot more potent. Wish you guys could smell that. But take about a tablespoon and a half and get that in there. And that's, again, this just is uh, strictly for the flavoring for the boil. Um, some Creole. This gives it, again, like I said, the um, kind of Louisiana type of flavoring. Uh, Cajun. Just gonna pour some in there. It's really up to you how much how much of that you like in there. Um, some Zatarain. <coughs> <Woo. coughs> Man, that Creole. <coughs> Pretty powerful. All right, here you go. One bag, Zatarain. I have it on up. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, <coughs> we'll get through this. Sorry about that, guys. I got a couple lemons, you just cut them in half. Drop them in there. Here's the other one. Just give it that nice flavoring. Some bouillon. 
I already put some bouillon in there, but I'm just gonna put the, the rest because there's only a little bit left. Chicken flavored bouillon. So I'll go ahead and start with the, I'll do the potatoes first. Um, Cause those take the longest. So I'll let those boil for about 20 minutes. Then I'll add the corn in. <coughs> oh, excuse me guys, that creel. Then I'll add the corn in cause that takes about 10, 15 minutes. Probably around the same time as I add these crab legs cause these only take 15 minutes as well. So, and then we'll just uh, saute the shrimp when we're ready for that. All right guys, stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back. So basically um, I got the potatoes have been boiling in there for about 20 minutes and I just put the corn in. Those potatoes. I just put some corn in. Let me put some more corn. How many of the other corns there please? And I'll let I'll, I'll let all that go for another 15 minutes and then I'm gonna remove it all and I'll put the uh, crab legs in. Oh, these are uh, bigger ones. Then I'll put the uh, crab legs in for about 15 minutes and then uh, we'll be back. Um, we'll be able to show you that. My wife's getting ready to start the shrimp. I'll show you that. Let me put the, put the lid on that. So she just put a half a stick of butter and shrimp really you just have to really kind of saute that for it's not too long what what is it about five minutes or at least they turn, um, turn about pink, white pinkish pinkish white she put about a, ta a little tablespoon just of garlic a, just a spoonful a spoonful of garlic and with shrimp, with shrimp, you you guys know you can't cook it too uh, too long because it burns and it'll get rubbery. So you just want to kind of cook it till it starts kind of fluffing up, looking white, whitish pink, and um, then we'll be able to to eat. You want to start putting those in? You want me to help you? Um, no, I have to wait till this starts. Okay. And then I have to put some seasoning as well. Wait till that season. All right. How do you guys do your um, seafood boil? I know everybody does stuff different, uses different spices, seasonings. Uh, comment below, let me know how, what you guys use. Exactly. What you try. We're gonna try to put a little bit of Creole again. Um, not, not too much this time. We had that coughing attack earlier, you guys heard. Sorry you guys had to hear that, but <laughs> that got me unexpected, unexpectedly. So now we're just getting ready to Cook the shrimp. This bag of shrimp we got at uh, Costco, and um, it wasn't. The, we got a different kind last time, and it, you didn't have to really um, clean or clean them or anything. And this one we actually had to clean a little bit, so we had to devein, devein the uh, the shrimp. You know that one vein running down the the bottom there, and uh, just pull off the shell. So. A little extra work. It wasn't too terrible, though. So we'll get these uh, going, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, this is how you want them to look. These are the cooked ones. So you get a, You don't want to overcook them because they'll start getting curly and rubbery. They still cook. Uh, when you get them out, they're still cooking, they're still warm, so. You gotta watch shrimp, because they can burn easily and then it'll be like chewing rubber tires. I don't know what rubber tires taste like, but I've been told. All right, so we just got the uh, corn and potatoes out, putting some eggs, our boiled eggs in there. We got the uh, butter going for the uh, Seasoning for the dipping sauce. Got the shrimp already done. Smells awesome. Start dropping these in here. Steam them up. I'm 
I'm gonna push them down there so that I can close the lid. There's a claw. Ow, just poked myself. Look at these claw pieces, man. Those things got so much meat in them. Those are the best piece, those and the knuckles. All right. Push them down without hurting myself. Okay, we're gonna give those about 15 minutes. Try to put this lid on. Give those about 15 minutes and uh, we should be ready to eat. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so I just finished, let me show you the finished product. Look how good that looks. Mm -mm -mm. Got potatoes, boiled eggs, corn on the cob, shrimp, and last but not least, king crab legs. Got my sauce ready here. It's about to go down. Hey, so thanks for um, watching the video. Um, watch my next video coming up. It's going to be a mukbang. Enjoying this yummy, delicious seafood boil. Don't forget to like, subscribe, add a comment. Like I said, I know everybody does their seafood boils differently. Some add sausage, some add lobster, um, all kinds of other things you can add on that. If you guys have any other good recipes, I'm open to hear them. Let me know what, what you guys do. Thanks for, uh, like, thanks for watching this video. Like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.